I'm Dr. Lesson. I've been asked to talk a little bit about uh, things to do and not do after a mummy makeover, specifically in regards to diet and exercise. On my phone, I have the uh, McRib Finder. <laughs> it's an app that tells you what McDonald's have the McRib and which ones don't. So, at about six weeks after your mommy makeover, you can start exercising, and uh, that's a full activity. You should be fully healed. Before then, like maybe after two weeks, you could you know, start walking, and uh, at four weeks, make it a longer walk, and then six weeks, you'd be back to the gym. Yeah, because they're only in season for a short period of time, and that period of time is decided by the individual franchise. So I have a McRib finder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as um, your diet, um, early on I recommend people take Arnica for the swelling and bruising and to avoid things that can cause bleeding like aspirin and ibuprofen. And those are good rules for the first two weeks after surgery. Uh, once you're out from surgery further than two weeks, you can take just about any uh, supplement that you want. Um, I recommend after a mommy makeover you try to maintain or lose weight. Um, some people have thought that if you lost weight after a tummy tuck or after a mommy makeover, maybe your results would not look as good and just the opposite is true. You actually look better. And so um, that's how I stay in such good shape. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, with the mommy makeover we remove about depending on the size of the patient, we remove between 10 and 20 pounds. And so they'll be immediately 20 pounds or 10 pounds lighter. And then there should be further you know, weight loss through exercising after that. So with just those common sense rules, I think um, you would maintain your mommy makeover for the rest of your life and get a very nice result. Thank you.